it's Kayla. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. As you can tell, it's another get ready with me. This time it's date edition. I just wanted to show you how I get ready when I straighten my hair and then do my makeup. So follow along with me and I'll show you the steps to get a perfect date look. Okay, so we're all done showering. I use Herbal Essence Shampoo and Conditioner and then Olay Body Wash. So I am all fresh and clean. And um, you know how I said in my other Get Ready With Me video, I don't know which one because there's so many, but I said do not brush your hair when it's wet. That doesn't apply when you're straightening your hair. Before I begin to dry my hair, there are a couple products that I use. This one happens to be by Ion Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. Intense hydration eliminates frizz and prevents damage. So what we do, just spray it all over. Make sure to get the ends all over. We need that hydration, girl. We're gonna brush that out. So it disperses evenly into the hair. I feel like I look like a wet dog <laughs> when I brush my hair when it's wet. <laughs> but what can you do? Next product I use is a product I've been using for years, actually. It's by L'Oreal Paris L5. Extraordinary oil. Oil and cream. Flower oils. Nourishes and transforms soft and luminous strands. And it's a leave-in. So I take a generous amount, honestly. Rub your hands together. And then a little in the veins, a little in the front, but mostly in the back because that's where mine is thickest. And you want to make sure you get each and every strand and it makes it really super duper soft. I think this one is made with sunflower oil and it just smells delightful. It smells really, really good to be honest. A little more just to dig it in deep. I look like a rock star. And then from there, again, we brush it on. Which tingle? What you doing there? We brush it on in. And it already feels really soft. And now we go on to the hair drying. So as far as products that I use for hair drying, I do not use a blow dryer anymore. That's so cassé. What I use is this. It's by Revlon. It's a hair dryer and hair brush all in one. It's almost like a salon product. So here's how it works. It has three different settings off well <laughs> that's not really a setting um cool low and high i am on a crunch for time so i'm going to use high and how you do it is like this go like this that's how you do it. What I do personally, I don't do all my hair at once because it is just way too thick. So I take it like this. I do section by section. So I have a little, my clip, clip it up. And then I just take it section by section and blow dry it. So for example, I'll go like this.
that's how it's done. So I would definitely say that this is salon quality. Since my hair was sopping wet at first, when I first started using the um, tool, I would suggest definitely um, drying off your hair a little bit, letting it air dry, maybe just a tad, or toweling off your hair a little more. For me, since it was sopping wet, I had to do it just a couple times to make it dry, and that's okay, but it just takes a little longer, and I won't make you wait through all the boring shit, so I'll let you know when I'm all Done. Okay, so as you can see we are all done and you know what? It took only about 10 to 15 minutes and it's almost perfectly dry It actually like came out very straight, which is amazing However, I am going to go in with a straightening iron and straighten it out even more but again this product is by Revlon. It's a hair dryer and a brush all in one. Next, I'm going to go in with my straightening iron. Looks like this. As you can tell, it's a little metallic. It's a black. Um, it's made by Chi or Chai. And it only has one setting, but I believe it goes up to 450. Which is what I like because I liked my hair to be extra straight and since it's so thick it makes it really hard if it's at like a 350 it doesn't really get it as straight as I like. So we're gonna just let this warm up it takes about three minutes. To straighten the hair is really simple. You take it section by section. I always do my bangs first that's just what comes first to me and then I take a little section always the bottom I want to make sure I get enough so that I'm not wasting time, but not more than I can handle. So this seems like a good amount. I'll brush it out. Make sure that's all straight. Use my clip so that no other hair gets in the way. And I'll brush the section I'm about to do just to make sure there are no tangles or anything not that there should be but just in case and then I'll take a little bit take my flat iron and then just straighten it out and I'll usually go over it about three two to three times depending on how straight it gets the first time and then we do that throughout our whole hair. Okay, and there you have it. My hair is undoubtedly straight, which I'm very excited about. Also, did I mention my Whitney Houston tea? I love this shirt. But anyway, back to the hair. Show you the back. And then next, what I'm going to do, I have some putty that I like to use to kind of poof it up and kind of um, tease it. So I'm going to do that next. So what I use is called Got To Be. It's by Got To Be. It's called Defiant Shine Pomade. And so what I do here, it's like a little jiggly little gel. And so I take like two little fingers full. That's enough, that's more than enough. Kind of swirl it around, get some product on my hands, and then go like this, and then just kind of spread it through the top layers. Make sure you got enough. I think this is fine. Get some of the underneath layers because they need to be a little um, teased as well. And then from there, we take our comb, just a regular comb, and we go like this. Actually, I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit up. Okay, so you go like this. And then just kind of spread it out. And then same thing on the sides. First, you want to make sure you have all the hair you want. Tease it. 
Make sure all the volume's at the bottom. And then just spread it out. Same on the other side. Get all the hair. Tease it. Spread it out. And there we have it. Kind of like a little punky look going on. That is how I get ready when I'm going out for something As you can see, I have everything laid out here. And this is what we're going to use. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing out of the realm of what I do for makeup. But I will definitely show you the finished result once I'm done. Okay, you guys, are you all ready for my finished look? Okay. Ta-da! So I did everything normal. Um, I did some gold eyeshadow, some red lipstick, and I put on these outrageously long eyelashes, but I love them. And yeah, so now I'm ready to go see my friends. Okay, everyone, well, thank you so much for watching. I am so glad that you stuck through till the end of this video. Hi, Miko. Miko and I say thank you so much. The look turned out great. My friend greatly appreciated all the effort that I put into my look. He said that I looked marvelous and he really loved my hair and the look I did for makeup tonight. So with that, I'm going to end this video. Thank you again for watching and like this video, comment any other look you want me to try out and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Coco wanted to make an appearance and say goodnight. It's about 1.30 in the morning and we are all going to bed. Say goodnight Coco. Say goodnight.